Welcome to the mace. Now, even if your class can't use a mace, that's perfectly fine. You can get offensive aspects on your maces. And here we go. All right, y'all, this one's actually going to be pretty simple and quick. One, I have an amazing secret to share with you that's going to completely revolutionize how you're going to gear up your characters walking into the season. Not hyperbole, not clickbait. I'm just going to save you a ton of time and effort. The second part is I'm going to mostly complain about something that I hope can get reinvestigated or reimagined walking into the expansion. I assume the vast majority of systems are going to get changed in some fundamental way. But something that I really feel like has been a pain point since the inception of the game has been gambling. Gambling uh, was recently changed so that you can now successfully gamble unique items. I've never done it myself, but supposedly you can do it. So if you have, like, shout out down in the comments, let me know what you've managed to gamble. I'd love to start collecting some data on that just to get an idea of what the relative drop chance is. And in fact, the reality within which you can successfully gamble a unique item might be the reason why this system is currently the problem that it is. Gambling is very, very bad in Diablo 4. And let me paint a picture for you for what I mean by very bad. Earlier today, I was attempting to gamble for a chest piece, because if you don't know, chest piece can roll with plus skills on them. It's one of the hardest stats to roll in the game. You can spend billions and billions of gold trying to re-roll, trying to get something like uh, Golem Mastery. Myself, I'm trying to get Macabre skills because I'm playing a Bone Spirit Necromancer. But getting plus skills on a chest piece is incredibly difficult. As such, I turned to one of the few ways where you could easily and efficiently target farm, which was gambling. Gambling, you take some obols, you come over here to the Purveyor of Curiosities, and you click on the item type that you want. What you're looking at right now is an image of the entirety of the screen of what I had gambled using all of my obols previously. Out of the 33 items I successfully gambled, not only are six of them magic quality, which obviously nobody wants at this point, but only four of them were legendary. Now, while Full disclosure here, that's a little bit on the low end. You should expect to find like five or six legendary items in your average amount of equipment gambled from an entire screen. But still, this feels bad. In the PTR, just to get an idea of how difficult it would be to gamble plus to macabre skills, which is going to be one of the most sought after pieces of gear this season because Bone Spirit Necromancer is one of the strongest builds. I gambled 200 chess pieces with the infinite obols that we got and I only saw a single item drop with plus to macabre skills. So one, I just wish that the weights for affixes on gear were different, less heavily weighted against plus to skills, just because I feel like it is minuscule to the point of being impossible to successfully target farm, as opposed to giving legitimate chase and value to items that do have it. But the first part, the complaining about this, I do truly wish that the rare items were brought down to a minimum, or maybe it's just pure legendary items the moment that you hit level 100, maybe after clearing a pit tier 100, everything that you gamble is always legendary, some kind of progression system for the value of gambling, either being able to invest into the system, similar to like Diablo 3 where you would invest in the vendors, but something that allows me to inevitably be able to use gambling as an actual tool for target farming. Okay, great, I'm done complaining. How am I gonna save you time though? Well, the thing that even kicked off me wanting to make this video is that I'm looking for a Shade Mist aspect. Now, what would normally be the best thing to gamble for in the game to be able to get Shade Mist? Well, Shade Mist is an offensive aspect. That means that it can occur on our gloves, our rings, our amulet, and our weapons. And since weapons can only have offensive aspects, it's best for you to very specifically go for weapons as opposed to any of the other options. And then if you're to go take a look at whatever the cheapest weapon that you could possibly gamble is, you get the focus. The focus only costs 40 obols. It is considered a weapon. It can get offensive aspects on it and nothing else. So this is typically the cheapest option for you. And you gamble a focus and you get a random magic focus. That doesn't really help you. If you're looking very specifically either for a weapon to replace your current weapons with or offensive aspects, boy, do I have a cheat code for you. Welcome to the mace. Now, even if your class can't use a mace, that's perfectly fine. You can get offensive aspects on your maces. And here we go. All 
That's right, for whatever reason, Gambling Maces has a 100% hit rate on legendary pieces of gear, at least on the Necromancer, and you will always hit a legendary. That means that if you're looking for offensive aspects, just gamble maces, and you have the full suite of potential of finding one. Like, I just found Imprisoned Spirit on my Eternal character for the first time, just by using this uh, weirdly specific... I guess you could call it an exploit, but like, what, we're not allowed to gamble the item just because it's here? Obviously, I'm going to report this over to the devs. It's something that was available in the PTR as well. Uh, so I do assume there was just a little bit of oversight here. That's what kind of tuned me in. I was like, oh, hold on. Is that still working from the PTR? But if you're looking for offensive aspects, you're either looking to fill out your codex, you're looking to get the new offensive aspects on the Eternal Realm as well, or walking into the season for the first time this weekend for people who've been working all week and haven't been able to blast, this is going to be a really, really easy and cheap way of finding one, just a pretty decent weapon for your class since it will always be legendary once you unlock the ability to actually drop legendary items, which I think happens at like level 10 at this point. Maybe there isn't even a level to unlock it anymore. But on top of that, basically just get a full suite of all the new offensive aspects, go and either use them yourself or just salvage them, add them into your Codex of Power, and enjoy your free legendary aspects as far as the eye can see and as far as the obols can take you. And just because I do love complaining, the fact that there is something that works for this but I then can't use on other pieces of gear, I think really highlights just how much more valuable gambling would be if you could successfully gamble legendary items every single time. On top of that, you can also get greater affix gear. So it's just a really good way of being able to like, oh, okay, sure. I only get, what, 2,500 obols at a time. I ran a bunch of pits. I have a bunch on top of the gear that I'm getting from running the pit. Let me go ahead, try to target farm a piece of gear that's good for me. Maybe I hit it big. Maybe I can go sell it, trade it, etc. I just think it would bring a lot more to the overall system of gambling that is vastly underperforming. Let's just remember, right now I think running a tier 100 pit gets you something like 200, 250 obols. So that's 10 pit runs to be able to buy two inventories worth of gear. Uh, that's a ton of pit runs to be able to do that. And if this is the outcome, I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time gambling. It's not really worth your time either. But there you go. Just wanted to show that off. I think that this is hilarious. Uh, it's a really good way to just cheese it out for right now and save yourself a ton of headache. And hopefully I do go get that Shade Mist aspect because there's just like so much information out there about Shade Mist right now. It's a kind of cool tool for leveling. doesn't really scale in the way that you would think it would. But based off of our testing in PTR, we kind of expected that. It has a ton of weird lucky hit bugs. So look forward to that video coming out soon just at you know the moment that i get one on my eternal realm character thank you so much for watching this video i truly hope that it helps you to better enjoy the season when you jump in this weekend or continue your journey through it right now and as always I look forward to seeing you in the next one